I could do it by myself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, okay. My name is Olivia Larson. I am a senior at Omaha Central. Kaka! Kaka! Uh, this poem is entitled, Nice Girl and the Accident. When he meets you in an art studio, he will suggest you go out for coffee. He will explain he's never been in an accident before, but your friend will drive. Upon arrival, insist to sit in the middle because it is your birthday. You will take a picture of your cups raised. This will be the last time you remember to celebrate yourself in months. This will be the last time he celebrates you. On the way home, you'll be bold enough to say, let's do it again sometime. Over the next few months, you will as follows. Hold his hand, hold his head in your hands, hold his head in your lap, hold his head up when he needs it. He will tell you he does not understand how someone can be so nice. You will take this as a compliment. Begin to examine your body for the first time since you were 15 when he tells you he wants to leave the lights on. Despite your fear, you will see body, not woman. You will turn on the corner lamp and face it away from you a moment. You will determine worth breaking your own rules for. You will not regret this. You will not regret anything. Later, he will not let you buy him your favorite food. He will not try it. You'll begin to understand he does not know how to try at all. This is when you will start to talk about politics again, loudly. Hear him say, I don't really care as long as people aren't dying. You will realize he hasn't noticed people are dying. You will realize he is not the first person you will fall in love with. He does not look at you like you are artwork or a canvas, but like a strange something he found in a thrift store he could maybe find a use for. When you start to become a person again, he will tell you he does not understand how people feel things. This will be the first time you believe he's being completely honest with you. The first time he really talks to you, talks about the two of you. On the night he's talking to his therapist again about who he didn't talk about ending it with you, you will find a picture of the night he toasted your name. He did not know you. You doubt he ever will. Toward the end, tell him he's not a bad person and you are not nice. You are not kindness and taking the higher road. You are his first car accident. Something about you holds so much power. He will make his truck wrap itself around a pole on the highway. You will take the light out. And imagine some days you hold it beneath your sternum. He will remember a second of the accident every time he travels that road. Every time it will scare him because for such a nice girl, he could not wrap his mind around you. He could not break your heart. You will keep membership at the studio and eventually run into him. He will say hello, but you will hear the way he speaks to his mother, see the color of his dog's eyes. You will not blame him, even though you want to. You will drive yourself home imagining someone who will know you, even with the lights off. Yeah.